Hello, yeah. Welcome to this video. My name is Sherry Rack, and on this video, I'm going to show you how to integrate the Data VQ API to your website as a developer. This video is going to guide you step by step on how to accomplish that. Now, I'm going to go straight to the point and then show you exactly how to do integration because in our series on Legacy Business TV, I made a promise that I'm going to actually walk you step by step on how to uh, do a lot of things as regards to data view two. And this video is just like a follow up series to what I originally promised on our channel. So if you are yet to be a subscriber on data view two, hit that subscription button, like and share this video. And of course, if you look here, you can see the playlist of uh, data video. We have a lot of videos that explain a lot about data video. All I have to do is to click on playlist on Lake Business TV and, and choose data video. From there, you can actually see everything about data video. Now, when you go to data video, which is data .ng, now you'll be able to be uh, kind of welcome to the platform homepage. Now, what is data video.com.ng uh, is a platform that enables you to buy product at a very cheaper rate. Now, it is a developer friendly uh, V2 website application. What we mean by here is this we are looking at the platform to be one of the trading platforms that has to do with where you can actually resell product, connect to your API, and also source products as well. So, this is a actually automated system. And it can, I can guarantee you that this platform is delivering products 100% on automation. So that is just what you have to understand here. Now, if you look critically here, you can see the prices of products. They are very, very affordable. Now, starting with the MTN SME, you can see here that MTN SME 1 gig is currently sitting at uh, 299 for for existing users as like, okay, yeah, subscribers, okay? But then if you want to upgrade to get a, a, a good rate, you can see that here, uh, API and portal owner is enjoying one gig for a rate of 217 at the moment. So I'm going to quickly walk you step by step on how to do upgrade, how to actually integrate uh, the API. The same thing is applicable to other network. Airtel is the Airtel, like you can see, Airtel one gig is going for 200 naira on this platform. So this platform is legit, 100% guarantee. It's going to make you money in the process. So do where to subscribe to the channel and also use the link in the channel to start as a, either a free user or an API person. And then follow me as I show you how to properly do the integration now, okay? Now, what you need to do is to just have have accounts. Register in the platform is completely free to register, and then verify your accounts. Of course, you can have email account uh, email. The system will send you an OTP, and once you sign up with the email, valid email, you receive the OTP, and once you verify your uh, uh, verification code that is sent for you on the email, you will be able to log in into your uh, what's called web uh, your own backend, and once you are logged in. You'll be able to see here that uh, you see a lot of things. I've already covered in the channel how to do a lot of things on the playlist. So go through this data v playlist to be able to understand everything about the platform. So we have almost like five videos here uh, and then this counts. So I don't want to waste time on that. But once you are here, you load phone in your wallet. You just quickly add phone to your wallet by clicking on add phone and then how do you get started by integration? The first thing you should know is to know understand the platform prices. So you just click on price in here. You'll be able to see the various uh, prices that is on the platform. So you can see here right away that uh, uh, for customers, those people that are just registered, we are seen as customer, then resellers are people that, okay, you want to resell from the platform. Then API are the people that want to integrate the API system to their own uh, websites, right? So these are, kind of people that can easily use the platform to do their day-to-day -day activities. Now, starting from the customer, you can see the price of the customer, which is what one gig for SM is going for 219. Why that of reseller is 218. Why that of uh, API is 217. So that also goes to other network. But we are looking at how to do integration, right? So we are needing, we are going to lead this page, but then let's go to the home right now. Let's go to the home right now. Let me show you quickly how to get started. Now, if we scroll down here, you're able to see uh, where you see API doc. Can you see it right away? You can see where it is written API doc. So click on that API doc, open it in another tab because that's where I'm going to be needing that. We can also go to the home uh, of the 
uh, official website then click on api doc you can also see it here whichever one you click it's going to direct you to that uh, page so once you are here on this page pay attention critically now for those of you that are developer you need to study the api documentation which of course you can see in my screen right now so on this place you can easily integrate the api of data v2 you can see that you can learn how to integrate our api into your application and build your own solution so you can see the 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 process you need to take you can see everything is here simply explained for you it is written in in basic uh what's called json everything every content should be formatted in json right now you can see everything that is written which of course you need to pay attention now Pay attention that for you to do API calls from your end there as like, okay, your end application, you need to include your authorization token, right? On every request you are making to the server of data v run. Remember, this is uh, very easy for you to get started if you're a developer. You understand what I mean by making an API call. So here is the things that you need to get started as looking okay, how you're going to code the system to function in relation to what we are saying. So you need to get the endpoint right. So you can see the endpoint for user balances. You can see it right away, which is very, very important. So apart from that, you can also see the authorization code that you need to include on your integration process. So you can see every parameter that you need for you to do the integration is written here. So you can see every uh, what's called functions that you need to implement from your end there. You need to make sure that all these things are all implemented on your integration process. Because if you don't, the system will not be able to do authentication properly on the system. Now, you can also see this is for like, okay, API balances. As in, okay, you want to check API balance. This is the, the what's it called integration parameter you need to follow. This particular integration parameter, you need to follow it to be able to query your transaction on uh, uh, data v2 using the parameters this is again then if you now want to properly do uh, what's it called airtime integration this is parameter each of the integration process has different parameter right and different endpoints so pay very good attention to it of course if you're a developer watching this you can able to see that everything is country percent simple here so you can easily use uh, a platform to help you integrate airtime v2 it is com com completely automated and is working once you get your uh, uh, what's it called your integration properly then you can do the integration now pay attention uh, apart from the fact that you're going to study the API, uh, what's it called, how to integrate it, that's another thing you need to get right on from data to buy data, uh, from airtime air air to buy data. There's some certain things you need to get right. For instance, you need to get right about the, uh, what's it called, the data ID variations, which I'm going to point right away. Though there's some certain things we need to still update on this uh, API documentation. So bear with us. Like for instance, in this place where you see uh, data size is uh, two, uh, MTN 500 megabyte, this is actually wrong. This is supposed to be a different thing. Let me show you that so that you're able to understand what I'm saying. So for instance, I want to integrate uh, a, a, what's it called uh, MTN SME 500 megabyte. You go back to your uh, home page on data v2 once you have an account on data v2 then click on prices let me show you something that is very important during your integration process because if you don't get it right you may not be able to do the integration properly first of all starting from the network uh network network has to do with the network you need to uh, use to do your integration so m10 is one here why the glue is two ETL is what uh, for why a uh, nine mobile is a uh, three. So very, very important. So if you have to use that, it's very important. Then apart from that, if you come to airtime again, you can see the network uh, uh, is here. Though this one is not a problem, but the major one that I want to get you uh, to understand is the data plan. Okay, if you come here, you can see that here, the plan ID is very important during your integration. So for instance, I want to integrate 500 megabytes, which is, you can see it now. Now, if you look here now, you can see here, that's why I said that some, some type error is here. So what's supposed to be here, display where you see MT500 megabytes supposed to be what? One, okay? So factor it into your integration process. If you go here, go for that. If you want to integrate that of one gig, it's going to be two that is going to be replaced in this place where you can see here. So that's exactly what I want you to understand in this uh, place. Now going forward, I can also do that of a uh, curve and then you can see the end points of data, very important. So mark 
place endpoint is very, very important when you're paying attention to the endpoint system. So what for you to do all this integration, you need your world authorization token. I'm going to show you how to get your authorization token uh, within uh, a, a moment. So make sure you follow this video, okay? Follow it to the end. Don't skip any part. So if you want to do that of cable, buying of cable, so you can able to see here, now, apart from that, you can see the cable TV endpoints and you can see everything is here. Okay. Integration process is smooth here because you can see everything that you needed. The same thing with education, the same thing with electricity. You can do integration on any of these core services we are rendering on the platform. So, how we say that you can also go down a little bit. You'll be able to see the who uh, on the area of electricity. You can able to see the cable provider. You can see cable ID is written goodly here. So it's like more or less this page, which is the pricing is more or less both uh, you can see it as a normal user, a reseller, and also as a developer. You need to use this pricing section to do your integration process. That's why we are making this video. So because people are always requesting, okay, share that I've seen this uh, data video. I want to do integration. How do I proceed? So you need to get every of these parameter right. You can plan ID is necessary for that of a cable electricity integration. You can see the provider name. Everything is there. You know how to do your integration. Now, those of you that are not on the VT website with us can use this video to do your integration. It's not a must. You should have a VT website with us. You can use any, uh, what's it called, application. But you must pay attention to the parameters for doing integration. Maybe I'll pay for our API and then possibly you want to do integration. This is the video for you. So pay attention and do the integration and do the needful. So this is it. I will walk you step by step on how to do integration. Now, you discover that in data view, there's nothing like API key. There's no way you can able to see API key and you need it to make an API call, just like what you are seeing here, the authorization token or the key is necessary. So how do you generate your key? How do you get your key? Then you need to pay attention. For you to get a key first, is that we need to evaluate your website because most people are very fun. They say ah, they are developers and they want to do integration. At the end of the day, they are not actually developers or maybe they don't have even platform for integration. So go to your WhatsApp, contact our support. Are you with me now? For, you, for we to validate each website to use our API, to get our API key, it will cost you some amount of money. So we don't want to state it in this video because things may change over time. But once you, you have make a request to that by telling us on support that okay i need i need uh, i need api key right so we're going to tell you okay what is the name of your website we'll look at your website and then and then if you have done the integration you must be like a normal user okay so once you have done the integration we'll be able to know because we are going to actually going to know from the back end so once we have been able to confirm that you have done the integration properly. Then we are going to validate the website by paying a specific fee, which I don't want to mention on this video. Once that is done, we send you, of course, before we validate, we must have already sent you the API key. But before we send you the API key, you must already have made the payment to validate your domain. This is totally different from upgrading your account to get a better services on API. So API validation starts from a thousand naira up. So I won't tell you this the specific amount, but make sure you indicate the interest. The reason why we are saying that is because people are very funny. They will say, okay, uh, everything should be fair. At the end, they are not even developer to start with. So we validate each domain with a particular price tag. I won't gonna mention it on this video, but if you have already your domain is already validated, you get your API key already, then you can easily upgrade to an agent. If you want to upgrade to an agent. For now, at the moment, is just a two thousand naira at the moment. Except maybe in the future, this price may be high. Okay, to upgrade to an agent. Then, if you want to upgrade to API properly, as in the API account, if you look here now, the price is is roughly I think is around five thousand or something. All this is can contact support to know the current price on the last package. It's very important you contact support, but. For you to get your API or to authorization token, we need to validate your domain. You need to submit your domain. We evaluate it. Then you pay a specific fee, which is from a thousand error up. That way, we know that you're actually serious about doing integration. Not just maybe because we're going to be giving support and everything. Now, for you that's uh, new, you're not a developer. You just want to have a virtual website. Then there's a video that's going to pop up right away to learn how to own your own V2 portal on this advanced sophisticated application. But right now, you can also go to own a V2 portal and then go and learn everything about it. 
Because if you are owing a VT portal on data VTU, we are going to do the integration for you seamlessly and everything is going to work concurrently with the platform. So you don't need to worry yourself, crack your brain, learn every of the uh, intricacies about integration process. So go here, pick a package, and then do the needful. And then once you pick a package, you can see it now. The basic plan at the moment is 220, okay, well, 22,000, right? It's very cheap, right, to own a V2 website. Then you can see the, the medium plan is 45,000. So then the, what's it called? The advanced plan is a, a 60, 65,000, while the business uh, plan is uh, 85 at the moment. When are we when we say at the moment, because the prices may change anytime. So pick any of the packages and do we, we do the integration for you. And once your website is ready, we automatically upgrade you to the reseller status, right? So you can actually enjoy the reseller status. For those of you that want to go in for the, what's it called, the VTO uh, plan right as like you want to own a v2 website and then integrate our solution our api depending on the the the, the plan you are going for okay it's like the first package you are integrating our api and you can see the cost of uh, prices i i mean i can see the cost you are buying the whole product then if you are going for the second package you are having at least two api you can also three uh, two api switch with meaning that you can either use our own platform or use a different gateway to to source your product. Why that of the the advance you are having what? You are having uh, up to like, uh, five, what is it now? Let me check. Because uh, that's, we are looking at uh, integration here. And that's why we are uh, critically looking at each of the plan. You are having about, uh, uh, we are having about uh, five API switch here. Why dot of uh, the last package you are having nine API switch. So there's gonna be a video popping up right away to you to where we where I break down everything about these packages, what are the features and all that. But take action right now, either to integrate the, the API as I said, or better see only V2 website and then enjoy this better awesome services from Data V2 Nigeria. So if you enjoyed this video, please do it to subscribe, like and share this video. I remain a host of Shelly Ham. We're going to see in the very next video. Until then, keep winning on telecom business. Now, watch the video that is popping up right away. Use the link in the description of this video to sign up on Data V2 to get started.